Omar Abdullah, you are also aware. Jyotirad Ditya Sindhya, you are aware. Ravishankar Prasad, you are aware. The, you go around anywhere today, people are saying, what's going on in this election? What is this election about? It's eventually, it's about hate speeches, who's against whom. And the first thing I know, politicians will turn around to the media and say, oh no, it's the media's fault. Media highlights these issues. We do different things in our constituencies. But that's, that's, that's the popular perception, Omar Abdullah. Who would you blame for it? Because we're talking first front, second front, third front, fourth front, who's with whom, who's gone on which side, you know. Who do you blame for that, Omar Abdullah? Let me start I with think you. Arnab, the, the, Indi the, Indian voter, the Indian voter is a lot smarter than that. Yes, there's a little bit of hype around Varun Gandhi's speech and Vaiko's speech and other things. But when push comes to shove, the majority of the Indian voters will come to the polling booth and will vote on issues that matter to them. Mm. Maybe the BJP gets a slight bounce in some areas in UP surrounding uh, Varun Gandhi's constituency. But uh, beyond that, I really don't expect these hate speeches to have this kind of impact that uh, we are generating through our debates. The people will, will vote on the issues that matter to them, the representatives that they want to select, and uh, the agenda that they want to set for the next five years. Jyoti? I think there's an idealistic view to look at this, and there's an actual practical on the ground view to look at this. Let me first say that these are the exceptions and not the rule. Generally, uh, A, I condemn what has been said by any politicians, but generally this is not the case across the board. There are issues that are discussed and debated and people vote on it, be it progress, development, <coughs> sectoral issues, regional issues. And I certainly hope so that that will be the trend in the coming election. We've seen that in the You're past couple of elections. I'm frustrated about it personally as well. It, it has not been the case. Development has come to the fore and it's a very reassuring sign for India yeah. as a country. And I hope that trend continues to grow in the future. But, but let, me, let me be specific with you. In your state, in Patna constituency, you have a television star against a Bollywood star. I mean, what is this issue? I mean, uh, I, I don't mean to be condescending to either. They may be both very deserving people. Uh, but, but, but the but, point but, is... Well, uh, no, let's no, not bring no, this no, debate to one particular constituency. No, no, general. What, what, what Jyotirajit has said and what Ornav has said, I am Omar. In com uh, what o o Omar has said, I am in complete agreement. Let us trust the inner wisdom of Indian people. Hmm. At one point of time, there used to be a comment that people don't understand human rights. They prove them wrong. Hmm. Ultimately, the real development issue, how my good friend Jyotirajit Party has governed or misgoverned, the issues of bread, the issues of price no, rise, the issue no, of no, security, no, no. I, I, they will come about. I am sorry, I don't agree. Ravi, you are Please. right that the Indian uh, voter, despite Indian politicians, will take this country forward. But that doesn't this hardly, this kind that of hardly contempt, answers this the kind issue. of contempt. No, I think uh, it's very, uh, very, uh, very wrong. This is very unfair. Uh, and and pays your moralistic. If your argument is, I will go on, I will blink at hate speeches, but I'll leave it to the Indian voters. No, I said that. I have to take contempt against politicians by you people. I have to take issue with Harisha. I will stick up for politicians for 60 years. If there was no Indian politician, we wouldn't have come where we are. Look at the neighborhood. Look at all the post post imperial democracy there of no Africa. Question about if that. there was no Indian politician yes. who when he lost elections gave up office and fought for five, for the next five years to come back, I think we would have been drifting place. now. So no, I have to stick up for Indian drifting politicians. Now? It is my daily job to criticize politicians, but when it comes to tarring them with the same brush, no, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I, 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 no, let me take more interjections. You had a point to make that to what Harish Salve was saying. I think it's very wrong and I, I use that in the strongest term possible. I think it's very wrong for individuals to paint all politicians with one brush. Yeah. I agree with I you. think it's very wrong. <coughs> Let's also not forget that this is the most participative democracy in the world. When you paint politicians at brush, you're also ins insulting the institution of democracy in this country. And let's not take it that lightly. No, no, I'm sorry. It's very no, no, easy no, no, to no, sit no, back. No, no, it is no, no, very no, no, easy no, no, to sit back and criticize the system. Why don't you jump in and actually change the system also? No, no, it's no, very no, easy no, to sit back and do that. So I, no, I think, I, I let's not move away from, oh, no, let me yeah, finish. Yeah. Hmm. Let's not move away from the topic at hand. I think it's very important to condemn what has been said. Indian debate, Indian politics has to rise above that. If we want to secure a safe and good future for our country, it must rise above but that. It must be on the issue of development or progress. The trend that we are seeing, I hope, will continue. And if any statement is made like that, it must be condemned. In no, the no, but why, while, 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 there are, while there are examples like you and there is Omar Abdullah, there's, they're good meaning, good thinking and people. Don't make you know, there are, there, are also, there are also so many others. You know, you, this, Goswami, they say... There, there, there are also let, a lot let, of good others that... I, I don't mean Arnav to... Put, Goswami, please allow me. No, no. The stand of Harish was not that. He said country will grow in spite of politicians. That included Amar, <laughs> Jyotirajit and Ravi Shankar as well. 
We are right from a student no, life. Sorry, Ravi. just a minute. No, 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 Please wait for your turn. Ravi. Right from our student life, we have lived by commitment. No, no, no. People will trust us, but this it kind of who said, contemptuous it is you who said it's not fair. No, 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 this will not affect one minute. This will not affect the politics. One minute. No practice. Come in politics. All of you might say, all of you might say, this election is about issues and development. The fact of the matter is, this issue is about numbers, about fronts, about it's about political management. It's not about yeah. mandate I, but and that you will agree because I, it, there are four fronts which are being made. No, 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 Avika, I actually don't agree with you because you are actually, we are going into the election whether you call it the first front, second front, third front, or fourth front and as many fronts as you want. Yeah. We're actually going with our own particular agenda whether it be the NDA, whether it be the UPA yeah. or the third front or the fourth front. We're going with our particular agenda. And it's very clear what our agenda from the UPS point of view is. Okay. And, and you'll put that agenda yeah. aside the minute the numbers no, are not actually, with you. We have you need not to done cobble, that. If you look at, no, together. No, no, if, Navika, if you actually look at the CMP that we actually instituted, right. close to 70% of yeah. what we promised in the CMP, <coughs> we have delivered. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we have I, believed I, I, in actually I, I, delivering. I, 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 we have not I been able to deliver on everything that we have committed to. But we have delivered on everything. I want to stay with the issue we were looking at. And I saw Omar shaking his head and he was saying, phew. What kind of debate is going on out here? But that's the debate that happens. You see, Omar, my question to you is, let me put a provocative question to you. I'm glad you smiled. I'm glad that politicians like you and Jyotiraditya, Sindhya, Navishankar Prasad smile because genuinely we need to see more smiles on politicians' faces as well. Especially post-2611. But my question to you is, if somebody were to tell you, Omar Abdullah, that poly, poly, uh, let this election happen. After this, we don't need a diagnosis or we don't need slow treatment or homeopathic treatment. You need a surgery to cleanse the political system. Would you agree? No, absolutely not. Why would you? Why do you believe that the exceptions are the ones that make up the rule? The majority the of point. the politicians in India do a reasonably decent job under difficult circumstances. Yeah. Just because a particular Varun Gandhi or a Vaiko or somebody like that makes a hate speech doesn't mean all politicians make hate speeches. Hmm. Uh, just because a handful of parliamentarians took money for questions or money for the uh, for the vote <coughs> doesn't mean all parliamentarians sell themselves the moment they step into the the, the doors of of the Lok Sabha or the Rajya no, Sabha. I think I, 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 I absolutely I, 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 agree no, with what Jyotiraditya said. It's very simplistic the way you the the way you portray politicians. I, Arna, so, okay. Arna, no, let, I, I'll just say no. something. You know, we we sit and criticize as journalists politicians every day. I went to Kashmir, I got the election totally wrong. Does it mean that I should be just... You, you know, take, me, you take me to my last question on the show. You, know, I, 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 I got totally wrong. wrong. You, you, say one thing. Thing. you, you take me, you take me to I my last... I want to say I mean, one thing. Omar, on Omar, Omar could have decided... Omar has raised a very me. important no, point. No, no, it's a handful of politicians who take money and the whole class gets a blame. Why? Yeah. Yeah. For the reason that today, so many months down the line, yeah. parliamentary committee says we don't know. Okay. My, 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 last, my, last, my, my last statement, my last statement and question, and I always do this, I think you raised very valid points. And I would like to say, we were asked uh, by some of our viewers, why aren't you doing an exit poll? Why aren't you doing an opinion poll? Simple question is, all our panelists will agree. After the delimitation of constituencies, it's impossible to prize through the statistics of the last election and apply them to this one. My last question, which I always put on this show, goes to Dilip Padgaukar. With all your experience, sir, tell me, are you any clearer this week than you were, say, four weeks back? <laughs> about which way this election is going? Yeah, no, hear. honestly, give us a straight, <laughs> honest to goodness, straight answer. And, you know, Vinod Mehta says, I don't know, but I don't know. Dilip Padgaukar. No, let me say that I'm, I'm clearer about the issues at stake. All right, beyond the calculations and so on and so forth. I think it will be a post poll thing, as everyone knows. But listening to the discussion today, recalled to mind a lovely line from Bertolt Brecht. Mm. And Brecht, at the end of a poem, because he is fed up with the totalitarian regimes, he said, the time has come to elect another people. <laughs> <laughs> well said, well said. Dilip Padgaukar, Jyotir Aditya, Sindhya, Ravi Shankar Prasad, Harish Salve, Sankar Shen Thakur, Navika Kumar for standing by, and of course, Omar Abdullah for joining us from Jammu this evening. Thank you very much. We'll see you again on next weekend's Decision 09 debate.